With a 324 batting average to go along with his team high 11 stolen bases, Middle Tennessee shortstop L.A. Woodard's journey to stardom isn't as glamorous as his name suggests. In fact, at the end of his senior year at John Overton High School, college offers were almost non-existent. One of our alumni from Overton went to Kansas City Community College and he said, hey, you know, they need a shortstop. So I went out there to Kansas, did like a kind of tryout for them. And they offered me and that was the only offer that I had in high school. Um, so I mean, I didn't really have really another choice to go anywhere. 600 miles from home, Woodard fought for everything given to him. And when his two years were up, he held in his hand over 30 scholarship offers, one of which was to Middle Tennessee. It was also during this time that the Blue Raiders were saying goodbye to another junior college transfer and one of its best shortstops in school history, Riley Delgado. And I don't know that you can really fill Riley Delgado's shoes, and they're two completely different players. I would known Riley because he went to uh, Columbia State, and I saw the numbers that he put up, and I saw him get drafted, and, and I was like, oh my, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I getting myself into? But as soon as the 2018 season began, it was apparent that Woodard was a different breed. He's somebody that guys are going to feed off him, you know, whether they're having a bad day or whatever it may be. Like when they get around LA, he's able to pick them up, and he's able to carry him with. Him. On and off the field, Woodard's character remains stronger than ever. Baseball is really getting through the hard times. That's all it is. And I went through some hard times, definitely. But you, you are where you are for a reason. And you got to make the best of it. And I did. In Murfreesboro, Tyler Lamb, MT10 News.